YouTube friends and welcome to my channel new and returning subscribers it's Margie from the budget evolution where we have fun saving our money in today's video we are working on our November monthly zero based budget and guess what this looks a little different doesn't it <laughs> So what I did, if you happen to look into my previous video, um, I did a review on Beautifully Me and You's um, Salisa, her planners. Somebody asked me if I would do a review on my original planner, which was the pink one, which was bi-weekly. And I did do that. So you wanna, might wanna check out that video. I decided since I was going to do that video, I figured, you know what, let me buy the new one that I wanted, which happens to be the Easy Cash Budget Extended Weekly Planner. And the reason I switched to weekly is because when I have a magic month, I have four paychecks in a month. So I decided to use this for November because it's a magic month for me. I get four paychecks this month, which is fantastic it's always nice to get that right before christmas okay so let's get started this is a beautiful planner and if you are a beginner i highly recommend this planner it is just so easy to use and the fact that it's undated you could start in any month you choose and we're going to start in the month of november i couldn't wait until january <laughs> Because I also wanted to do the comparison between the two and what I like, the pros and cons and stuff. So just like her regular binder, you start out, planner belongs to me. A little explanation of the planner. She has extra pages in here um, because of the, the four weeks per month. And I think there's some that are five. I think it might have five weeklies. Let me, let me count. So there's one, two three, four, yes, five. So there are five pay periods for the weekly. And if you notice the extended tracker, thank you so much, Salisa. You were reading my mind and that was to make the lines much smaller so we could fit a lot more into the, um, the tracker, which is fantastic. So this is January, actually, and we are going to skip all the way to the end because we're going straight to November. Oh, well, that's December. Maybe just a little too far. Here we go. And I already kind of filled it out so we can make it go real quick. Um, so last month, my goal was to reach 400 subscribers. We did not meet that at the end of uh, October. So I'm going to make that my goal for this month. I'm going to really try to... Um, you know, get you guys to kind of check out my channel and see if you like it. I am going to continue the no spend challenge. Now, what I mean by no spend challenge, I'm just tracking the days that I don't spend money, highlight it, and then I charge myself a dollar and I use that towards self care. So it's kind of like an incentive for me to try to not spend money on that day. But it's been getting really hard because my husband is also now spending with his credit card and it's just making him easier to use it more and more. So should I do the no spend for just my expenses or his expenses or both? So I, I haven't figured it out. The other thing you're gonna notice is down here under events, it is the month of my 25th wedding anniversary and it is Thanksgiving this month. Um, my trip to Italy was our gift to ourselves uh, to go away for our 25th wedding anniversary. When we turned 20 wedding anniversary, we went to Ireland. So you kind of see the pattern. So we're hoping our 30th wedding anniversary, maybe sooner, I'm hoping sooner, um, we would like to go to Japan for our 30th wedding anniversary. So that's just something that we were just, you know, something to plan for is what it is. Okay, so we are gonna get straight to this and get this done really quick. We have four paychecks. Now, the one of the things that I did do, technically paycheck number three, I 
I'm almost positive it comes out on the same day as the 16th, but I'm not, I have that like 1%, I'm not sure that it will. So either, regardless, either way, even if it does come out on the 16th, I'm going to treat it like it's it's separate week for the following week. So we will be doing separate videos for each of those paychecks, okay? So, all right, uh, let's get our calculator out because we're gonna have to start calculating. So no numbers have changed. My pay is the same, his pay is the same. We probably won't see any differences in our paycheck until the beginning of next year. So we have, let's move this over a little bit here, 11.65 for our first one, second one, 19.89 for the third, and 11.65 which gives us $5,484 to work with. $5,484. Okay, everything stayed the same. Electric is the same. Homeowners didn't change. Internet still at 60. Water's at 53. The only thing that will change for my daughter is since whenever I get paid, my daughter gets paid. I give her $200 for expenses, living expenses. So she's gonna have one, she's gonna have two, and then she's gonna have a third one. So you can see one, two, and three. She doesn't get a paycheck when my husband gets paid. Okay, next is Capital One. This is just a little extra savings, just in case if there are extra expenses for my daughter for any fees or anything for college. So I just set that aside. So if I need it, I have it, and usually we do spend it. She's, you know, part of all different pharmacy clubs and stuff like that, so, and they have dues. Okay, next on the list is health insurance. Stay the same at 122. That, um, this number is actually going to change because my health insurance is going up. So it's gonna be less money going towards me per month because insurance never gets cheaper. It only gets more expensive. All right, uh, car insurance also went up. It went up about mm, just under $20. Not too worried about that. We can handle it. Uh, we're going to skip down to tolls. Now, technically, tolls was uh, $45 for the month of October, so we're just making up for it and putting that back into the bank. I do have a buffer in my bank account, so the 20 extra dollars was not a big deal. We're just going to cover it in this month. T-Mobile stayed the same at 152. Natural gas is 159. Still has it. I'm on a payment plan, so it's the same amount every month. The same with our electric and our gas subscriptions is a little bit more expensive my daughter did change our spotify account to be a dual spotify i think something like that so that's just a little bit more expensive in our thing in our budget and then there's my daughter's third pay so we are going to add these all up and that comes to one thousand seven hundred and ninety two dollars let me just check this make sure we're in frame okay so then we're going to take our total 50 80 54 84 minus our 1792 and that leaves us a balance of three thousand six hundred and ninety two dollars to work with you're going to see a lot of changes in our cash envelopes because a lot of stuff starts happening. We start going out for lunches, for work and stuff. People are retiring, usually right around the end of the year. Um, uh, I work with a government agency and people tend to wait until the end of the year to retire. So a lot of retirement parties you'll find towards the end of the year. So I'm going to up a lot of this. We are gonna change our cash envelopes. We normally for ourselves are spending money is $100. We are upping it to $120 this month, also because it's a five-week month. So we have to kind of cover that little extra amount. Hubby is also going to get $120. Groceries is actually going to stay the same for $400 because we do have a sinking fund or a savings challenge for Thanksgiving. So that should cover the extra cost of doing a small Thanksgiving dinner with my uh, immediate family. Okay, gas for the cars, we did, I did up this. Um, I don't think we're gonna actually spend it. I didn't see us spend it this past month. I had 60 for both of us 
and we each but only spent $50 each. So there was an extra $20 that we applied to something else, but we're gonna keep it at 120 and see how we do. You don't know, we might be driving around a lot more. I have no idea. Household, we're gonna keep at $100. We did last month spend way too much money on household, but it was to get the yard ready for next year. Um, to the grass seed, it's all growing in. It's starting to look really pretty. Dining out, I up this to 150. And puppy, I'm going to add its normal 60. He is gonna go to the vet this week, so I hope it's not too expensive. So let's add this up. And that comes to $1,070. So we take our $36.92 balance and take away $10.70. And now we have $2,622 left to plan into our sinking funds. So we are going to stick with prescriptions. It's going to be, we're going to keep it at $10. Car maintenance. I'm going to start putting more uh, money again to car maintenance because we are actually going to deplete it. My car currently is getting its timing belt done, water pump. They're checking the automatic seats, cigarette letter. Not that I ever use the cigarette letter. I don't smoke, but it's, I think they're, it's all connected on the same line. So we just want them to check it to see maybe what's wrong with it. We don't think it's the fuse, but regardless, I, I do want to start to build this back up because most of the money we saved is going to be spent. All right. Life insurance is $26. Um, utilities authority is $30 that should be coming due this month. So we should be pulling that and putting that into the bank. Uh, DMV also is $24 yearly memberships. That's for like, um, Amazon, uh, Sam's club, uh, BJ's, those kinds of things. Um, that comes to $32. J house is my daughter's, uh, utilities and rent. She does get a little bit of a stipend in her loan for housing, but uh, mommy and daddy, we cover the rest of it. And what she decided to do, is she's just going to pay it till she runs out of the money. And then we will pay the full amount, whatever's left. So it looks like we're paying for the entire month of December, which would be almost a thousand dollars. So, and we have money saved up for that. Skiing husband said, uh, start beefing that up because he wants to have money set aside for when he goes on his guys ski trip. Okay. And then I added low priority and it's because I think my low priority binder doesn't get much love. It's like the last thing I think of. Yes, it's low priority, but it's like when I decided, I was like, oh, you know, I could really use another pair of pants for work. I don't have any money in it because I really don't stuff it that often. So we are going to do that since we have the extra paycheck this month, we are going to set aside $200 into our low priority and we'll probably do the randomizer to make it fun. Okay. We're going to add that up now. That comes to $792. We're going to take our 2622 down here and we're going to minus our 792 which gives us one thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars now our two months ahead binder we are still working on that of course and we since we have four paychecks i decided we are going to do a little extra on this one so we are going to set aside $160 towards our two months ahead binder, and it'll be separated into the different weeks. So one week it might be just, we're doing the $20 for each envelope, and one week we might be doing $5 for each envelope. So that's something to look forward to. Challenges, we are going to put $1,433 towards challenges. And that will give us 160 plus 1433. We're going to do $1,593 towards our challenges. So we take our 1830 minus our 1593 and we get $237. And we all know what that is. That is our extra loan payment of 237 
to pay off that personal loan. 237 from 230, 237 from 237 gives us zero. So I'm going to go fill here out our totals. Our income was 5484. Our bills was 1792. Our cash envelopes came to 1070. Our sinking funds was $792. Our savings challenges was $1,593. And our debt that we're going to pay is $237. So we hope this comes to zero. So we got $54.84 minus $1,792, $1,070, $1,592, and $237 which awesome gives us our zero base balance that i love that just feels so good now do things change and things happen in life of course they do uh, i actually even have a note here to the side that if i get any side hustle money the first thing i'm paying back is the uh, money i took out for the um our garage door opener that broke which actually that should say not $300. Uh, see, I even put the wrong amount. It was $400 to fix the garage door opener. Yeah, so that is like the first thing. So things like that happen. It could come out of challenges if I don't get side hustle money, but at least I'm keeping a note to remind me that's what I want to do. And then same thing with renovations, like we had to put $426 towards a new, our washing machine, which still isn't fixed. Hopefully this Monday, I mean, we're going on two weeks of this saga with the, with the, with the washing machine. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to get you guys down. That was our monthly November budget. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope me doing my budget helps you do your budget. If you ever have any questions, comment down below. So please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.